story of a star, a legend, but a man who, even by his own admission, hasn't been the luckiest of musicians. In fact, this year he's celebrating 40 years of failure. Fate has not dealt Les Payne a lucky hand. But now the star of more than 6,000 concerts has reached the apex of his career. Les Payne is the star of the Vestas of TV commercial fame, and he joins us now. Les, it all began back in 56 on the Isle of Wight. What made you want to become a failure? Um, <laughs> well, the media loves to think of me as a failure. Of course, I don't think of myself as a failure. I think I've been a wonderful success because uh, I've done for many years what I like doing for a job. Um, I always wanted to be in entertainment. I mean, when I was 12, I had a, a Punch and Judy show. When I was 13, I did Conjuring. And then rock and roll came. And I mean, it was so exciting in the mid-50s to suddenly hear these things from America. Um, I thought, right, that's for me. But so you, I, you did have incredibly bad luck with things like the three-day week. Now, how did that affect your career? Yeah, I had a record of the week on Radio 1, and uh, I was with RCA at the time, and uh, they pressed up 3,000 records, as they do with a new artist, and... Uh, there was a, a minor strike which brought the Ted Heath government down and uh, everyone went on a three-day week and at the same time there was an oil crisis which caused a vinyl shortage and um, you just couldn't buy the records. So they couldn't press your records? It was 53 in the charts and they couldn't buy any more. I mean, now, it was as simple as in that. In the 80s then, you had more bad luck with the Falklands War. What was the tale yeah. behind that? I brought out a record that was anti-war and um, it came out a week before the Falklands and it was literally cold shoulder by all the radio stations because it was sort of saying give peace a chance when the war was on and uh, dear old Kelly Everett was the only one who played it. So. You've had so much bad luck that I think Diana Ross took pity on you didn't she? Well Diana Ross saw me on a TV program with Kylie Minogue and actually uh, just liked me and said that she'd like to invite me to a party and rang me up and of course I went. Um, the thing is, I sometimes feel guilty when everyone says I've had a lot of bad luck because I've had a lot of good luck. I've had a really good time. I'm still here. I'm still writing, still sending stuff away. Um, I feel very lucky. It's just, uh, and I've always laughed at all the downfalls because, you know, if you didn't, you'd be, get very depressed. You do something like two to three hundred gigs a year now. But yeah. what actually keeps you going when you're not selling lots of records? Well, the thing is, is that... I love doing this job, you know, I mean, I, I must admit in the last year or so I haven't been gigging as much, I've been mainly studio work, but it's a great, it, it's really good fun doing this for a living and, you know, what keeps anyone in their job? I, I mean, to me, a, a failure in life is someone who spends their whole life doing a job they hate and there's loads of people who have to do that. David know? Bowie nearly helped you make it big once, didn't he? Yeah, I had a song once from David Bowie uh, called Star that we recorded. And um, it's one of the stories that kept me going because David Bowie was actually turned down to produce it, which is funny now. And um, so they, someone else produced it and it didn't really work out right and never came out. Now, you're on the uh, TV commercials for, for this um, Vesta product. Yeah. Uh, uh, as much of that as you can eat, I suppose, is part of the deal, is it? That's right, yeah. I play a fictional character called Wally Wallace and um, it's a band that signed our record company as a food company. And let's face it, that's why we all work to eat. And uh, instead of doing albums and things and get loads of money, we get loads of food. So you think that you have at least become a successful failure? Well, the thing is, is this is great to be, you know, we're going to get a three-minute slot on TV once a week for five weeks, and it puts my face back on the box again, and uh, the media is what it's all about. Les well Payne, thank you very much indeed for joining okay. us. You're going to play us out now. What are you going to play? You know, I thought an appropriate song would be Helping Hand. Thanks. <laughs> your life to be alive you watch your fingers to the bow everybody needs somebody to give a helping hand you got your head you got your hair but what's the point if you don't care everybody needs somebody to give a helping hand I know that people can make you cry It's easy though, time can say goodbye You spend your life to be alone You watch your fingers to the bone Ever needs somebody to give a helping hand Somebody give a helping hand Everybody needs Somebody give a helping hand 